Welcome back. I'm here to show you the basics of a homemade queso. Um, the queso that you get at most Mexican restaurants. I say most Mexican restaurants because when I lived in Texas, nobody had white queso. I was very disappointed. So I had to go home elsewhere in the South, like to Mississippi to see my family, to get white queso because... If, if a Mexican restaurant in Texas had queso, and I, and I don't mean all of Texas, I lived in Houston, uh, more specifically Katy, Texas, the west side of Houston, <clears throat> and they didn't have white queso, so except Chipotle, which we all know Chipotle's queso is trash. So I'm here to show you the basics. Oh, that's my timer going off for whatever's in the oven. I'm here to show you the basics of queso. It's two ingredients, plus whatever additional stuff that um, you want to add in it. But I've got my heavy cream going. I just get off-brand heavy cream. And then um, uh, white American cheese. That's it, folks. So I get the sliced kind uh, because, you know, it's cheaper than going to the deli and getting um, blocks of it because I tried to be fancy and do that the first time I made this, and I thought, you know what, it's just so much cheaper to do this. So I just I just heat up a little heavy cream to get it going, and I just, I'll start out with like four slices of cheese. So this, there's no like set recipe for this. It's just, you just add cream and cheese to you know, your preference. If you like your cheese dip thinner, which I don't, <clears throat> um, just add more cream. If you like it thicker, add more cheese. So that's why I go with, I just start off with four slices and then adjust accordingly. Um, if I accidentally add too much cream, then, you know, obviously I'll add more cheese. Um, and then I'll for sure show you the things that I have added to this to make it not so basic, but even, you know, just this basic, um, basic ingredient list right here is, I mean, it's fantastic. So, oops, I'm, <laughs> I'm whisking like crazy. Um, so you're going to see that it's, it's starting to thick up. I'm going to turn my heat up from low to medium. Um, you can you can add like I know before I've done like I've sauteed some green onions and jalapenos and some bell peppers before I add the cream um, in a little bit of butter then I add the cream and then I add the cheese um, that's that's just when I wanted to be fancy but usually when I'm when it's Mexican night at the house I will most likely um, have white queso to serve. Um, either with chips or with whatever, you know, tacos we have. So this is a little bit too thick for me, so I'm going to add more cream. And I keep, <laughs> I keep uh, white American. Oops, y'all, I'm so messy. I'm sorry. I keep white American and heavy cream on hand at all times. Because sometimes, um, I'm a chips and salsa kind of girl. Sometimes for a snack or even for lunch, sometimes I just want chips and salsa and queso. So that's what I do. Okay, so this is perfect as it is. I'm going to turn off the heat. Um, see, the problem with this video thing is that you can't see. Let me try to adjust it. Um, I don't know if you can tell how thick it is. It's pretty thick. But I like it that way. So, pardon my cast iron. I have yet to clean it. Okay, so um, obviously you can add things like garlic powder, onion powder, um, uh, cumin. If I'm feeling really weird, I'll do chipotle seasoning. Um, <clears throat> and a lot of times um, when I first started making this, I would add like a small can of green chilies. But again, I, I really just, I don't mind the simplicity of this two ingredient queso. So, again, you can add vegetables <clears throat> at the beginning. Sorry, I don't know what's happening in my voice. Um, you can add vegetables at the beginning to kind of give it a base flavor um, and then pour some green chilies in and then add the seasonings that I suggested. But 
y'all. This is good just like it is. So see how quick and simple and easy that is? You'll probably never order um, queso from for like DoorDash or anything when you figure out how to make it on your own. Because, I mean, there's no flour in here. Uh, looking at you, Chipotle. There's no flour in here. It's just simply heavy cream and cheese. So that's it. That's how quick this video is. Uh, less than 10 minutes. It's actually less than five minutes because I've been talking. So give it a try. Let me know how it goes. Bye guys.